So you're thinking about buying a classic Mustang. When I talk about a classic Mustang, I'm not just talking 65 through 73, I'm talking all the way up through the Fox bodies through 93, as that car is 30 years old now, and it's considered a classic car. Now we've done videos talking about what to look for in a first generation Mustang, and what to look for in a Fox body if you're trying to purchase one for a project or as a driver. Now when it comes to buying a car though, there's a lot of common mistakes that people make. Today's video, we're gonna talk about five common mistakes people make when buying a classic car, so hopefully you don't make them when you buy your first project. The first mistake we're gonna talk about is taking on too big of a project. Now we all have a project car, we've done a ton of them here at CJ Pony Parts, but taking on too big of a project is a great way to ruin your classic car purchase. Now it can be too big of a project for a variety of reasons. It could be simply overestimating your mechanical abilities, or it could be buying a car that is simply too far gone to financially restore. Now, every car is restorable with the right set of tools and the right skill set, but some of them financially just don't make any sense. Now, if you're a mechanic or professional body man, by all means, find one that needs to be saved that most people would bypass on and put it back on the road. But if you're a weekend warrior or standard enthusiast, start with the nicest car you can find and build from there. And with a much more satisfying and fulfilling ownership. Now, the second mistake a lot of people make is not being willing to travel for a car. Now you go on Facebook Marketplace, you go on Craigslist, wherever, you can pick a range, 50, 75 miles, however close to home you wanna be. But chances are the car you're looking for might be a lot further away. Now if you live in the Rust Belt like we do, you know, going south for a car means you're probably gonna get something with a lot less rust. Also, depending on where you live, cars in other states might be cheaper, even in the cost of getting it home. Now, I know everybody doesn't have a truck and trailer and can run to get a car, but you may have a friend who does. You can rent a U-Haul, you can hire a service. There's plenty of ways to get that car home. And I do wanna mention, if you're buying a car from a distance away, make sure you don't make mistake number three. Now, mistake number three is don't buy a car sight unseen. If you can't make it to go look at the car, make sure somebody you know and trust puts eyes on the car. As good as pictures and video are, they never tell the whole story, and sometimes things get unintentionally missed, and sometimes it's not so unintentional. Now again, nine times out of 10, the car is not gonna be exactly what you see in the pictures and the video, so have a friend go look at it, hire a mechanic, talk to the seller, see if they'll take it to a local shop, you can pay to have the car looked over. If the seller doesn't wanna work with you, doesn't wanna do any of that, there might be a possibility they're actually hiding something. But if you are buying a car from any distance away, make sure you or somebody you know definitely puts eyes on it so you get what you're paying for. Mistake number four, don't settle for the wrong car. Even if it's not the wrong car, don't settle when you're looking for the car that you want. Now, I've been lucky enough to own a lot of Mustangs in my life, probably between 60 and 70 at this point of honestly lost count. And oftentimes, I bought the wrong car. I wanted a coupe and I settled for a hatchback. I wanted a 289 and I settled for a six cylinder. And often when you do that, you end up not being completely happy with your purchase and you might end up selling it and getting rid of it. Now make sure you get the car that's exactly what you want. And to make sure you do that the proper way, don't make mistake number five. Mistake number five is not doing proper research. Now purchasing a car is gonna be very expensive and that's just the beginning. Then you add parts and labor and insurance and storage and everything else. And now you've got a lot of time and money invested in your car. So before you make the purchase, do your research and make sure that's the car you want. Make sure you want a Fox body, make sure you want a first generation Mustang. You know, talk to owners, go to car shows, join a car club, look at groups and forums and everything else out there. And again, make sure it's the car you want. And when you determine what that car is, do the research so that when you find one, you know what you're looking at. Get the VIN number, run the VIN, use one of our decoders, make sure the car is what it says it's supposed to be. You know, if you want an original V8 car, make sure it wasn't four cylinder or six cylinder swapped and run that. Basically, make sure you do proper research up front so the money you spend gives you the car you want and makes you happy in the end.